So I'm going to invite you now to close your eyes or simply soften your gaze. And bring your attention to the heart center. And simply feel. as we feel the heart space, bringing into your awareness, you are the living bread, the ordinary made extraordinary in you. What is a common food is transformed and transmuted, literally shifted in its shape and form through you. We are not to live on just bread alone, no. So we lift into consciousness, in the heart space, the bread of beauty truth, justice, in the same way that every meal can be made with or accompanied by bread, rice, corn, every thought, action, word, can be accompanied or made with love. So we allow the heart to be in its natural state, wide open, brave. generous, We bring our focus to the third eye, right between the eyebrows. Transfiguration, divine wisdom, you, entirely human, entirely divine. You, sacred. You, ordinary and extraordinary. You. You possess sovereignty in the divine realm to be who you wish to be. You are not only formed by those around you, by your family of origin, by your social groups, by your country and culture. You are also shaped by your own connection to the divine.
every iteration of creation is available to you. Whether you walk silently on four softly padded paws through the jungle at night, unseen, jaguar, panther, whether you circle the air, the sky of the daylight, wings spread, eagle, a bird's eye view, perspective, Perhaps you sit on your haunches, guarding your pack, alert, confident, safe. like a butterfly flitting through a garden of flowers, tasting, frolicking. Traveling across man-made borders. Seeking the next spot of beauty for your nourishment. Be you a newborn baby, dependent on your caretakers. Be you rebellious teenager trying to find and assert your independence, your identity. Be you in the sunset of your life, holding wisdom, perspective, generosity of spirit. Be you, dolphin in the ocean, swimming freely, jumping into the air, diving to the depths in community. connecting. All possibility of expression, of creation is available to you. You remain as always limited only seeing with divine wisdom, how then shall I be? Who then shall I be? Just as the heart chakra, like the aroma of home-baked bread, brings community together, opens the heart, warmth, friendship, love, the third eye brings forward the presence of the divine in each and every experience. I am the vine, 
You are the branches. We own this truth for ourselves. We are the vines. We are rooted. Bring our attention to the root chakra. Rooted in divine truth. Rooted in the infinite expression of ancestor, holiness, imagination, expression, invention, innovation, identity. Like the vine that travels. over any surface, wrapping itself around anything in its path, providing shade, grip, holding all in its path with truth, with love, with possibility. We allow that which would come forth from our own spirit and own soul to hold all that is around us with love, with possibility, with sacred truth. This is our collective identity. We are divine and we are created to create branches, leaves, Fruit, fruit that will shift its shape into wine, divine drink, mystery, returning us back to the truth of all that is God. So from the root chakra, at the base of the spine, we allow the sense of branches grounding through the leg into the earth. Through the legs, through the feet, down into the earth, rooted into Mother Earth. who is living bread. And we come full circle into the presence of the divine, into the living bread. And we simply allow truth to move in us, through us, as us. The bread of beauty, of truth, of justice, the bread of beingness, we rise into that which we have called to be, we have been called to be. Into transfiguration, we shape, we shift, we reshape, we shift again. Dazzling, unrepeatable. some days unimaginable, always grounded, always rooted into the truth of our identity, entirely human, entirely divine. We extend this meditative state. We stay with it. We are it. We feel in the heart. We see with God eyes rooted in our ancestors, in the divine that chooses all expression, all creation to come forth 
God is, I am. God is, I am. God is, I am living bread. I am the ordinary made extraordinary. I am the dazzling presence of the divine. I am the vine the branches, the fruit, the sweetest of wine. I am the mystery of God made manifest. I am the cosmic Christ. This is your truth. You are the cosmic Christ, a unique, unrepeatable expression of the one holy presence. What is true for Jesus of Nazareth is true for you. And it is a story that contains the ordinary. It is a story that contains tragedy, pain, suffering, in the life of a man whose teachings were life-giving. The cosmic Christ is the light and the wound. So we bring our entire being into this space and into this truth. I am living bread. I am the dazzling presence of the divine. I am the vine, the branches, the leaves, the fruit, the sweetest of wine. God is, I am.